In the Serie A, Inter are top with 53 points, four ahead of their city rivals, Milan, and they have a game in hand too. And guess what? This weekend, it's the Milan derby. The derby della Madonnina taking place in Milan. Gab Marcotti joining us now to talk about it. So this game is going to be pivotal in the title race then, isn't it, Gab? Well, it's funny because Stefano Pioli admitted, yeah, it's pivotal, it's, it's pivotal for them, <laughs> uh, even. And uh, Simone Inzaghi oh. saying, uh, no, uh, it's not for us. I mean, obviously, we'd like, to, we'd like to get a result. It would be better if we get a result. But he doesn't see it as pivotal. And I think he's right because, you know, they have that little bit of a cushion. They have the game in hand. Um, and it's, it's very much an Inzaghi move to try to, you know, dial the pressure down a notch or two. So no Zlatan, Pioli has said that they have to find their strength without him. How are they going to do that, Gab? Well, they're going to do it with, uh, with a handsome World Cup winning French centre forward named Olivier Giroud. <laughs> he of the chiselled jaw uh, will be coming in for, for Zlatan. And um, in some ways, this was definitely a blow because Zlatan, of course, coming off early uh, in their last game before the break. But... But the feeling was, well, it's two weeks to go. It's precautionary. Uh, he'll be ready. And then suddenly he wasn't ready for this game. Um, I, I think they feel pretty good in this sort of match about what, what Giroud can offer. Uh, obviously, you still have the aerial prowess. You've got the unselfishness. You've got uh, perhaps more work rate. Obviously, you don't have the Slatan factor. Uh, Fikayo Tomori, also close to full fitness, although the indication is that he's unlikely to start this game might be a little too early for him so Milan looking at this as uh, a game where they need all three points if they want to reopen uh, the title race but I think they feel they have they have the tools to do it into pretty significant favorites in this one with the bookies it's been a very good season for them so far 53 goals in 22 games Nobody would have expected Inter to be doing as well as they were, or as well as they are, given the losses that they did have. Antonio Conte, Lukaku, um, Hakimi, and then look at how things are going, Gab. How do you see it going? Well, look, the cliche is that the Derby is always uh, impossible to call and, and, and whatever else. Um, I think uh, we're going to get goals in this one. Um, I think Milan are going to go for the jugular, try to beat them with, uh, uh, with energy. Some suggestions that um, they could go with, with sort of a more of a 4-3-3 with, with, with Kessie uh, coming back and starting uh, with Benacer and, and, and Tonali. Uh, that, to me, says they're going to try to work. They're going to try to work. They're going to try to dominate the, the midfield. Milan are going to be happy with the ball. They'll try to release um, Salamakers and, um, and, and try to get that service into Giroud. I mean, I think it suits Inter. They can beat you in different ways. But Milan on the front foot does raise the question of, of Inter, um, perhaps in transition with, with the likes of Perisic, Lautaro Martinez, who of course scored for Argentina uh, over the break. And of course, Ed Dzeko, well-rested up front. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.